Hello everyone, it's Z Dudeful. I'm coming at you with my first video that I've made in a while. And this video is actually a test video, testing out a recording method I'm using. And this lovely lady right here is Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. And um, like I said, this video is also informative as it teaches you how to add the transparency effect into your windows in windows 8 and windows 8.1 and i'm using windows 8.1 um, but what do i mean by transparency effect and i mean this effect look at that look at all that transparency and stuff um, it has a little blur that i added in but that's what we want um, when we get done with this tutorial but anyway, what you need to download is a program called Glass 8, and you can get it from this site right here, Glass 8, and apparently they're stationed in Europe or whatever, and you want to download the version that you have of Windows, and I have 64-bit Windows 8.1. So you download that, and you want to go into the registry editor, and how do you do that? You can, one easy way is to press the Windows button and the R button at the same time and type in reg edit all caps. Uh, I can't do this because my keyboard on my laptop is broken right now. But um, if your keyboard is working, unlike mine, feel free to do that. That's a simple way. And this will open. Well, uh, not this exactly, but this is the path you'll go through. You'll go through here, each key, current user, scroll down to software, scroll down to Microsoft, and then further down, all the way down to Windows, and then click on DWM. Okay, and so you'll see a bunch of these random things right here. What are they? Well, they are obviously D words, and you can modify them to change the transparency effect as you want it. Um, at least for my computer, as soon as I downloaded this program and you got it running, um, I think you have to unzip it. Uh, no, that's for a different program actually. But anyway, as soon as I got it running, the transparency effect kicked in. But you can modify that further uh, as you want to. Like you can add more blur to, to um with the value blur deviation. You can also change the color of the captions over the windows with uh, where is it color caption right here and um, you can also add some other values into this like um, if you have a laptop like I do disable glass and battery and um, you want to modify this value to zero if you want the glass effect to still be active when your um, computer isn't plugged in if you have a laptop and if it is you'll want to set it to one which will disable the effect on battery and it doesn't work immediately. You have to restart the computer or let it take its effect in a little while. But anyway, um, that'll work. Uh, well, keyboard. Um, but you also notice here it says hexadecimal, and you're wondering what is hexadecimal? Well, it's just a way of ordering numbers, and uh, you'll learn more of this if you're into programming or anything like that. But if you aren't, just look up hexadecimal online and you'll find some stuff on it. But anyway, you'll need to know a little bit of hexadecimal to modify these values. Like I have this value set to 2F47 for my blur effect. Um, and um, I have this value set to 5A, which was the um, regular value that I was set to. This value doesn't actually work in Windows 8.1. This was um, what it would set to defaultly, uh, but it does work in Windows 8, regular Windows 8. Um, I have this value set to 5F95, and so if you know hexadecimal, you know exactly what I'm talking about, exactly what I mean. But if you don't, just search some of that stuff on the internet, and you'll find that information. But anyway, there are some other values that you can add into here to govern other parts of the um, 
of the transparency effect, like disable glass on at on um, battery. That um, I had to add that in myself. Um, I had to write that value myself to get it working. And um, some of the inactive values, colorization, color inactive, I had to add in that value myself. Um, text glow mode, I think I had to add in that value myself too. But there are some other values that you can add in that I'll mention in the description. But anyway, yeah, all you have to do is download Glass 8 from this European site. No offense to the Europeans. Um, download your version, whichever version that um, you need, and then go straight into Registry Editor. Start at H key, current user, software, go down to Microsoft, um, scroll down to Windows, and then click on DWN and modify these values and add other values into them. So I know this video was short and didn't show you very much actually, but this is a test of the recording method and it was a little bit informative. So. Anyway, thanks.